sculpted sidewalls, pressurization that eases jet lag, and a window for every passenger's seat. Yes, that's the promise of the new Boeing 777X, a long-awaited next-generation aircraft that already amazes private jet fans. Welcome to Kings of Luxury. Today, we'll take a look inside Boeing 777X. How does the commercial version differ from the VIP one? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. Boeing's newest jet is teasingly close to delivering passengers around the globe. 340 orders are already completed for the 777X. The customers include All Nippon Airways, Cathay Pacific, Qatar Airways, Emirates, Ethiad Airways, Lufthansa, and Singapore Airlines. Boeing created the 777X to be the first next-generation variant of Boeing's famous 777 product line, which first flew in the 1990s and helped to earn the reputation of the world's leading airlines to Boeing. The plane is equipped with new engines made by General Electric and a longer pair of wings. It lets carrying more passengers while operating more efficiently than the previous aircraft, effectively replacing the Boeing 747 jumbo jet. And so the 777X was born. At 251 feet and 9 inches in length, the aircraft would be the largest twin-engine aircraft to roam the skies. Its wingspan is nearly as wide as the aircraft's length. Wingtip to wingtip, it ranges 212 feet and 8 inches. What's more, the aircraft has two different wingspan lengths, thanks to a unique feature. The wingtips extend flat before takeoff to boost fuel efficiency. Pilots activate the function with a switch in the cockpit and retract them after landing to dodge hitting anything on the ground. The wingspan with the extensive wingtips is 235 feet, almost enough to fit two Boeing 757 aircraft back to back. Boeing would create two variants of the aircraft, the Dash 8 and Dash 9. Although the range of the new Dash 9 and the previous generation 777-300ER are alike, what attracts the new aircraft is the efficiency and more carrying capacity. Despite the additional load, the aircraft's increased efficiency and comparable range to its predecessors became possible thanks to General Electric Aviation's GE-9X engines. The vast engines are large enough for a Boeing 737 fuselage to fit inside. The fuel efficient size of the aircraft leads Boeing to brag that it will offer 10% less fuel burn, emissions, and operating costs. Boeing estimates that the Model Dash 9 can carry 426 passengers in a two-cabin configuration, 30 more than the 300ER. Passengers can expect larger windows, more natural light, quieter engines, and a more spacious cabin. Besides a broader cabin and a smoother overall ride, Boeing assures that the 777X will deliver more comfortable cabin air, improved temperature and sound quality, and new lighting. The additional four inches of space in the passenger cabin would allow an airline to offer a seven abreast business class cabin while still meeting modern day expectations of privacy and a fully lie flat seat. But what about the VIP variant? Is it as good as the commercial? The concept of a business jet based on the 777X is thrilling, particularly if you happen to be a billionaire. The chance of any less than super rich getting to fly one of these beauties is terribly small. But nevertheless, it's exciting to take a look in, isn't it? The Boeing 777X VIP takes the idea of private jets to a whole new level. The expansive range of the latest member of the 777 family means it could fly halfway worldwide without needing to refuel. Notably, the BBJ 777-9 would fly to a range of 20,370 kilometers, while the smaller BBJ 777-8 could travel for 21,570 kilometers. The massive size of these aircraft gives designers a substantial 302.4 square meters of cabin space to enjoy on the 8 and 342.7 square meters on the 9. This video will present the Lotus concept for the 777-8, which combines stunning design touches with a luxury interior worthy of any billionaire's deep pocket investment. Entering the 777X business jet, a vast facility greets passengers perfectly positioned to welcome the crew and enjoy a grand reception. Near the reception area is a bathroom and lounges in both directions.
Moving forward, we find a more informal lounge that could host guests or for a crew to rest and meet. Passengers take a small flight of stairs to the main luxurious lounge. Greenpoint Technologies, behind the Lotus concept, has gone with a sophisticated grey palette for this interior, having corner sofas and complimentary carpeting for a high-end look. Beyond the main lounge, you'll find the media room. Here, guests will find a huge curved monitor and individual seating with high-low ottomans for comfort. Choose between viewing the latest blockbuster or a corporate presentation. A bar for enjoying the flight and socializing can be found at rear of the room. At the right of the aircraft, you'll find the guest suite. It has a private lounge area and a full-size double bed. To the left of this section, you'll find a custom table and chairs that make up a dining area or a meeting room. At the very back, you'll find the master suite. This really takes lavish to a whole new level. The suite holds a king-size bed and a huge walk-in dressing room complete with heated hardwood flooring. Behind the bedroom hides the master bathroom. This features heated marble flooring, a black wowing marble vanity with sinks for him and her, and towel warmers. But the real royal glory here is the oversized rain shower, a centerpiece worthy of any billionaire you can find on Earth. How was the Lotus created? Lotus's inspiration began with the wide 777X cabin and the dream of multifunctional spaces, advanced connectivity, and exceptional features that set the interior apart from classical private business jets. The team behind the design aimed to design a contemporary, functional interior with luxuries experienced at a world-class hotel. This resulted in a spacious, reflective, and welcoming interior. We know you guys already can't wait, but please hold on. The Boeing 777X will not be delivered until late 2023. The manufacturer delayed the aircraft's debut well beyond the planned time frame of 2020. Boeing attributed the delay to numerous factors, including the pandemic, reduced demand, and new certification requirements. So what do you think? Commercial or VIP? What's your top pick? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.